welcome guys to the second video for Immortal Dark Age Fantasy by myself, Dave Barfield, also known as Scorpius GLC on the internet. Um, in this video we're going to look at how movement works uh, with terrain and a little bit of shooting. So sit back guys and I'll explain a little bit about how movement works, uh, how interaction with terrain happens and shooting. So, in front of us we can see I have a cavalry unit, my picked uh, cavalry unit. These guys don't have any armour, but have a shield and a spear, and they're mounted. Any form of uh, terrain that they might come across, because they are counted as unarmoured, because a shield doesn't make you armoured, they're not affected by the terrain. They're counted to be light enough and nimble enough to be able to get around it. However, if they were armoured, such as, let's say, they were a Romano-British uh, armoured heavy, uh, heavy cavalry unit, they would be affected. So, in this instance, these cavalrymen want to move onto the hill. Movement for cavalry units is a base movement of 6 inches, or they can move on the double or charge 12 inches. Hills do not offer any form of uh, negative bonus to movement for cavalry, whether they're armoured or unarmoured. So these guys can literally move on to the hill. As long as they remain within coherency. So let's take this instance, if I move these guys back, and let's say we have an armoured spear unit. So here's my uh, warlord's retinue. These guys wear light armour and have a shield. These guys, if these guys want to move onto the hill, yet again, there would be no movement penalty, because hills don't offer any movement penalty. Literally, I know this is quite um, a jutted edge hill, but hills are considered to be rolling, so it doesn't necessarily affect movement. If I now move the hill out of the way, and replace the hill with an obstacle, such as a wall or a fence, when it comes to moving, when these activate, they would need to reduce their movement by one inch to get over the obstacle. That's because these models are armoured. If they were unarmoured, they were considered nimble enough to move over the terrain without any hindrance. However, they would have minus one movement, and their base movement is four inches, or they can uh, move on the double or charge eight inches. So to get over, I would reduce the movement by one inch. Oops, sorry for nudging the camera there, guys. Cavalry don't have any form of uh, trouble getting over obstacles, whether they're armoured or unarmoured, so they're perfectly fine. Now, if we have a look at something like a rocky area, such as this, as we've said, unarmoured units are unaffected by terrain uh, modifiers, but because this is an armoured unit, they would actually suffer, as an infantry unit, minus one movement to move through this rocky terrain. If this was a cavalry unit that was armoured, they'd actually have minus two to move through the terrain. And this is similar to how forests work. An armoured unit wanting to move through a forest, if it's an infantry unit, suffers a minus one to its movement, and cavalry suffer a minus two. But please bear in mind, this is only for armoured units and not an armoured unit. So guys, that basically is movement for you in a nutshell, uh, and how it interacts with terrain. It's also worth saying that when you are moving, you can do a few different things, such as crouch, which aids you uh, and gives you a benefit um, to make it harder for you to be hit. And, the um, as I just reach down the side for some bowmen, bowmen can move their basic movement rate and still shoot, which is really, really cool. It shows that in the Dark Ages, it was a very common tactic for uh, scouts with bows to run around and pepper the enemy with shots 
on the move. Okay then guys, here's a quick example of shooting for you. I have four bowmen who have chose to move and shoot this turn. These four bowmen are firing through an obstacle at a unit here. They generate one dice per bowman and require normally a four plus to hit. However, because the shots are firing through an obstacle, this gives them a minus one to that, requiring them to roll a five or more to hit. So let's roll and see what we get. So with that, three have hit. Now because this is a mortal unit, mortals are wounded on a four plus. I'll pick that up because it doesn't count. Hit wounded on a four plus. So to wound them I need fours or more. I roll two ones and a four, so I've caused one wound so far. Now this unit is armoured and has shields, so that's two points of armour, giving them an armour save of five plus. So I need to roll that wound and try and save it. So a five plus will negate the wound and the unit will be survived, unaffected, which it does. So that unit doesn't take any wounds. Now let's say that the obstacle was over here, in base contact with the unit that was firing. The unit would require, yet again, generate four dice. They'd require fours or more to hit. Hitting twice. Fours or more to wound. Wounding once. And then the unit would get an armour save of five plus because they've got light armour and shields. Which it saves. There's no negatives to moving and shooting, so it's worthwhile uh, running around and uh, using your bows to their full um, extent. Crossbows, however, need to remain stationary to shoot. If this unit was a sling unit, which you'll see in the demonstration game in a later episode, uh, sling units actually um, are a little less powerful than a bow, so the save would be uh, one better to save. So in this case, instead of it being a 5+, plus, it would be a 4+. plus. So in short, you can move and fire when shooting. There's no pre-measuring, so you have to declare your action before you measure and do any dice rolling. You generate one dice for every bowman, in this case four. And you require a base of four plus to hit, which is modified by any terrain that's in the way. So as I said, this shooting from an obstacle doesn't affect it, but shooting at models behind an obstacle does affect it. This is the same for shooting into and out of woods, um, and if you are shooting from raised ground, such as a hill. So for the instance, if this, if I suddenly place a hill down by the wonders of modern technology, if my archers were up here, They have line of sight to the unit, they're within their 18 inch range of a bow, and they would actually get a plus um, one for shooting from a hill. So instead of needing fours, they'd need threes. Two hits. Fours to wound because it's a mortal unit. One wound. And to save a five or more. Saved. So that's basically how shooting works guys, hopefully you enjoyed it, uh, as well as the movement, and um, we'll see you in the next one where we discuss a bit about charging and doing combat. Cheers guys, bye.